Aero helmets are a really important addition to your kit for a good aero setup in triathlon or time trial. We have measured here in the wind tunnel the difference between a standard helmet and a good aero helmet that fits for the particular rider uh, of up to 15 watts. So that's a huge saving that you otherwise don't have. Uh, the challenge though with a helmet is that it's very particular to the rider's shape. So your rider position, um, your head position relative to the body has quite a large influence to, um, uh, to the overall performance. So I'd recommend is if, if there's any rule of thumb that you can take, don't go for a very short helmet, but at the same time don't go for a very long helmet because these kind of medium length helmets seem to be a good compromise in aero performance. Don't forget cooling. A lot of people go to Kona, for example, in Hawaii, find themselves out on Queen K Highway where it's extremely hot and cook and that's, uh, they lose a lot of energy like that. So a helmet like this Rudy Project um, wing here uh, is quite a good one because it offers a cooling solution. You can either have it closed or you can have it open. And actually we don't measure a big difference between open and closed in terms of the aerodynamics. Another one just regarding visors. Quite interestingly, there's a big trend at the moment in the industry to go with the visor aero helmets. Um, again, because of cooling issues, many of our athletes have asked, do we need to have a visor? Can we run without the visor? So we've done specific tests here in the wind tunnel, removing the visor and just running with sunglasses. Quite interestingly, with all the helmets we've tested, we measure next to no difference. So if you want that added cooling benefit on a hot day and you want to remove the visor and just go with some normal sunglasses, that's actually quite a good solution where you won't have a big aero penalty.